Hello, my name is Dean Willett and I'm with RTDS Technologies. It is a pleasure to be presenting and I'm going to be talking about delivering IEC 61850 interoperable testing tools. The agenda will be as follows. An introduction, then I'll talk about configurable 61850 hardware, and after the presentations there will be a Q&A. Creating an IEC 61850 interoperable test tool. Why do we need a configurable test tool? The configuration of an IED is specific to the application, and testing requires the tool to properly mimic the application's IEDs. Can the real-time simulation data be bound to the 61850 data model? Yes, the components of a power system simulation can be bound to a 61850 data model's logical nodes in such a way that the data model reacts as if in the real world. Can the simulation 61850 data model be vendor agnostic? Yes, the simulation tool can be configured in such a way that it consumes and mimics any valid SCL file. Can the data model keep up with the real-time simulation environment? Yes, the simulation environment can be designed and engineered in such a way that the simulation interacts every time step. Can multiple 61850 data models operate independently in a real-time simulation environment? Yes, the simulation environment can be designed and engineered to operate multiple data models independently. Can the test tool support any addition of the standard? Can the test tool support routable goose? Yes, any valid SCL file, as long as it's configured properly, can support Edition 1, Edition 2, Edition 2.1, as well as Routable Goose. User Configurable Goose and MMS. The hardware shown on the right is a picture of the GTNet card. The real time simulator has an interface to the user's 61850 data model through the GTNet hardware. You need to support multiple IEDs with their own IP address. You need a high performance database for the 61850 data model. You need a method to bind the 61850 data model to the simulation environment. There is a need for an ICT to manage the SCL file. There is also a need for additional support of state machine code and logics, not part of the vendor stack. Interfacing a real-time simulator to a 61850 data model. The firmware was re-engineered to consume the configuration within the SCL file. As long as the SCL file is valid, the 61850 stack will auto-configure itself based on the content. Support for Edition 1, Edition 2, and 2.1. There were some changes that were made to the 61850 stack to make it more event-driven and, and improve real-time performance. Now supporting multiple IEDs with their own IP address. You can see a picture on the right which is the VxWorks real-time process model. Our hardware uses a real-time OS called VxWorks from Wind River. We added IP alias support to the real-time OS 
and supporting multiple IED instances within the stack required that their tasks be isolated while running in the real-time OS. Supporting isolation of tasks associated with each IED required that the real-time process model be integrated into the real-time OS. The real-time process model, or RTP, always load applications in their entirety. Therefore, you never have a non-deterministic operation. RTPs are not scheduled, thus the system remains deterministic. RTPs preserve the VxWorks architectural model, therefore the low latency design remains intact. A high performance database for the input and output. A database is used to interface simulation data to the 61850 data model. The database is comprised of a pool of memory inside an FPGA. The data pool is the container that maps the RTDS draft case variables to the 61850 data attributes for the IED. A solution was developed to exchange data from and to the simulator to and from the GTNet via a fiber optic link, thus enabling the simulation data to be part of the data model. This data pool is kept synchronized with the GTNet during the simulation. Binding the data model to the simulation environment. The hardware needs to be configured with an SCL file. Therefore, the S adder and int adder attributes are used to bind the data model to the simulation data. Therefore, no private sections are used. Additional information that is not available in the SCL file, like the retransmit curve, is stored in an additional XML file. Inside this additional XML file, there is also an override to substitute the physical source MAC address and change the initial state num of the goose message. An ICT is used to manage the SCL. The ICT was designed to manage the data model itself, configuration of subscriptions, configuration of publications, the retransmit curve, manage the data binding for input and output, and the data set content. Support for state machines and logics that are not in the vendor stack was implemented in the hardware. The C code to support these state machines and additional logics for certain logical nodes is executed on the RTDS processor and information is exchanged every time step. There is support for logical nodes LLN0 LPHD, LGOS, CSWI, XCBR, XSWI, CELO, and RSYN. Conclusions. The real-time simulation environment can be designed and engineered in such a way as to provide an interoperable, user-configurable test tool. Creating and running multiple IEDs on a single piece of hardware required some implementation of new features within the real-time OS. The design of a database that was based within an FPGA. We also required using the attributes of SCL for the data binding. And an additional XML file was used to store information 
not part of SCL. As well, support was added for state machines and additional logic. Uh, thank you for your attention.